Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the New York Stock Exchange. And with me today, Craig Kaufman, the co-head of investment banking firm Rodman and Renshaw. Hey, Jane. And uh, hi, good to see you good again. Good to see you again. Great. And also uh, David Siegel, the CEO of Investopedia. So let's start first, uh, Craig, talk about the Idea Generation Conference. It's coming up soon. We yep. talked about it before. Yeah, so we're really, really what's excited. What's the latest? On well, this? we are uh, we're adding a new panel discussion. Okay. So we're taking, we're going to have 16 managers presenting their best ideas across a lot of different strategies. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. And what we said is, we talked to a bunch of the managers and said, wouldn't it be cool to have like a bull bear panel to mm -hmm. do sort of a more macro piece? So we're going to be doing that in the afternoon. And, uh, you know, we have a ton of people showing up. Plus, mm -hmm. we're very, very fortunate to have the whole thing live streamed on Investopedia if you can't make it. Okay, so tell me the dates, times, all that information, then we'll get to Investopedia. Well. Great, so we're, uh, it's next Wednesday, March 2nd. Uh, so it's coming up very, very soon. And we start registration and breakfast at 8 a.m. at the Convene Conference Center on 45th Street and 3rd Avenue. And it's gonna run straight through till 5 p.m. And how can someone register? They can go to www.igeagenconference.com and you can register there. Okay, um, and tell me about Investopedia's role in the conference. Sure, they could also go to um, investopedia.com slash ideagen. Okay. Uh, we're really excited because um, sponsoring a conference around investing just really fits within our mission. Sure. So we're all focused on, you know, finance is very complex and investing is intimidating. Investopedia is all about helping to simplify the complex. Uh, we have 20 million users who use our site, we use it to get smarter around finance, smarter around investing, smarter around the markets. And a conference like this really helps our users get smarter around the markets. So we're really excited to partner together. Great. Now you're a fairly new CEO of yeah. Investopedia. When did you start? So my anniversary, one year anniversary was yesterday. Okay. There were streamers, Congratulations. balloons. Congratulations, made People it were clapping. One year. <laughs> I made it one year. People didn't think I would, but yeah. I did. It was very exciting. So how do you see Investopedia changing? What are you bringing to the company? What's your vision? Sure, sure. So there's really two priorities that I have with Investopedia. One is actually focused around timely content and news. Okay. Investopedia had been known for evergreen, dictionary, mm -hmm. definitional. Yeah, that's how I remember. Exactly, uh -huh. encyclopedic type content. For the first time last month, we um, had a greater amount of spend actually around news and topical content than on um, evergreen. The, the, the focus for us, however, is how do we do news differently? We're not going to be breaking news because we're not going to beat all the other players that are out there. What we can do, though, is talk about what's the historic context of why something happened happened, and then talk about what does it mean specifically for you. Taking the more educational component to it, and how do we leverage news to help to educate someone around finance, investing, commodities, what's happening in China, et cetera. Sure. So we're really excited about that, and it's resonating with our users. Okay, and Craig, tell me about that. How did you two get together and decide that streaming this conference would be a good thing? Well, uh, it's a funny story uh, how we met. We were both interviewing for the job of CEO of Investopedia, oh, okay. actually. We see who got so it. We, you know? we, met. We're, we were kind of like Rubio and Trump. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I don't know if I could break up that fight, but yeah. I don't even want to start that fight. But, uh, but anyway, so we started, we got together and, uh, and got along really, really well. And as uh, David had just said, he was, they were migrating the business to more timely, news-oriented, and focusing more on the financial advisor community. And so I had a long history in doing conferences. And I said, why don't we do a live event and leverage uh, your user base and bring this kind of content to, uh, to sort of heighten the, the, the type of sort of live, exciting uh, things going on in the fund community to your user base. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then how logistically does it work to stream an event? I mean, it's a fairly new, technology, streaming live things. What did it take to get that done? So there are a number of different great vendors that are out there. We contacted each of the vendors. There was one that had a particular experience around Wall Street streaming, streaming events around um, hedge funds, et cetera. We integrated on our site. It's actually the first time that Investopedia is ever streaming a live event. Um, so we're excited. Hopefully it will, not, it will all go <laughs> off without a hitch. Yeah. Um, and it's funny, in terms of how we, uh, also just to add on how we met, Investopedia is owned by IAC. Okay. And when I met with IAC CEO and I said, how do I build out, build out great talent? 
in terms of our executive team, he said, you got to talk to Craig Kaufman because he's fantastic. Okay. We almost hired him instead of you. <laughs> Maybe we should have, but you know, it all worked out well. Now, if someone is not able to watch it live, will it be recorded anywhere? Absolutely. So it'll be staying on the Investopedia site for anyone to get access to um, for many months ahead. We already have um, old people from over 20 countries. Our aim is to have over 1,000 people that are registered on our site um, to see the live event, and we're really excited about it. Okay, and so Craig, let's talk a little bit more about idea generation. So you mentioned that you have a lot of different speakers. Is it focused on one particular subject matter or just macro economy overall? Actually, it's an idea mm -hmm. conference. So whether you're a, a long short hedge fund or a long only fund, or equity or debt or whatever you may be, you're going to be talking about your best idea. And in one case, we even have a, uh, a quantitative fund. So they're going to be talking about their algorithms and how they build their algorithms and why those strategies work in the volatile environment that we're in right now. Obviously, we talked about last time is during these times, which we expect to continue, looking at how you allocate your assets is critical. And so we wanted to bring a bunch of uh, different strategies in front of people so they understand that there's a lot of a lot of choices out there uh, to help uh, navigate these difficult waters. Okay, so tell me the website again. It's www.ideagenconference.com. Okay, and how they can watch it on Investopedia? Sure. Investopedia.com slash ideagen. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck with the conference. Great. It sounds like it'll be very, very interesting. So Thanks thank you so for much, joining Jane. us. And thank you for joining us as well on Small Cap Nation. Thank you.